Hey everyone, John here with Pro H Paintball. Today we're going to cover how to repair your Chaos 2 if it's sputtering or almost sounds like it's going full auto. Um, this is typically a pretty easy fix, but if you have the Chaos 2, this is going to be a quick little video for you uh, to fix that issue. And this also works on most Spider paintball guns or Tipman paintball guns. So first things first, make sure there's no paint inside the gun, make sure there's no air inside the gun. Um, and you're going to pull the bolt system out. So it's going to be lift that lever up, pull out the back there. And then you want to take just your hand. Sometimes you might need a tool, uh, like a flathead or a uh, quarter actually will work in the backside here. Um, and you want to unscrew this. So this is if your gun, like I said, sputter. So it's like brrrr, like that. So as you shoot it, it won't shoot multiple times. You have to keep recocking the gun in order for it to fire. So this is your velocity adjuster piece. Pull that out. This is your main velocity spring. Pull that out. There's a little rubber stopper there. So you can take the Allen wrenches that come with your kit and kind of hook that in there. The rubber stopper comes out there. And then there's what's called a hammer. It's a little silver piece inside. I'm just gonna take that. There you go. Or you can take an Allen wrench from the top and slide it out the back, but this is pretty easy. So pull that out. So the main cause of your gun sputtering or kind of like going full auto um, is this right here. This is called your hammer. This is your hammer O-ring. The way this works, the way your gun works, is there's a small valve inside of here, a little thing that holds air behind it. And as you cock your gun back, it has spring tension behind it. So as you cock the gun back, it compresses the spring like that. And then when you pull the trigger, it releases this forward. And that actually slams the valve, which allows air to come up. I'll show you this here. So as you cock it back, it sits like this, the paintball falls down and you fire it. So it fires the ball forward. So when it fires forward, this hammer hits a valve, which allows air to come up, which goes through the hole here and out the front of the bolt, which actually fires the paintball. So it's not the bolt hitting the ball, of course, that fires, it's actually the air comes out. The problem is, as it hits, air comes up, but it also the air also pushes this and recocks this back. And the way it does that is this actually has a seal because there's an O-ring on here. So if for some reason your O-ring is worn out or if there's a bunch of debris on your bolt system or on your hammer system or inside the gun, uh, this can cause it to have drag, which means it's not gonna be able to recock. So it will, it'll fire, hit it and go brrrr. And what happens is the reason why it's sputtering is not going all the way back to recock and basically go far enough back to relatch onto the trigger assembly right there and it recock itself. So what you wanna look for is you first wanna take out the bolt and you want to wipe this down real well. So this is a brand new gun, so you don't see any wear and tear. There will be some wear on this as you play it a few times, as you get dirt in there. That's why it's important to clean and maintain your gun. But that pulls off there, so make sure that's clean. Also, the hammer that's here, you want to make sure that the O-ring has a little bit of lube on it, but also make sure it's in good shape. Some people will take a an air tank, uh, you know, the one off of your actual CO2 tank or your compressed air tank. They'll actually take that O-ring off and put it on here. They are different materials, I believe. So Excuse me, if your, if your O-ring is not the right material, it'll be too stiff sometimes, and it'll actually drag inside of it. Um, it can be too small or too big. This is a number 15 O-ring, I believe, and so that's gonna be the correct size. Here's a little trick, I'm trying to get this off. So you just pinch it here, and you can push your thumb up, and it'll actually pop off. So just because it's similar in size does not mean it's, not, it's gonna work. What happens is you need this O-ring to stick over the edges just a little bit. That way, as it slides through, it actually touches the sides on the valves that are on the body here. That way it seals it. If you squeeze or stretch an O-ring over the top of this and it's too small, you won't have any suction or you won't have any seal, you won't have a seal around it to cock it back. So you wanna make sure you use, um, if you have your parts kit, make sure you use your parts kit. They have extra O-rings inside here. If you can't get the O-ring off, a small little pick, uh, you can find online a little dental pick, anything like that. Be careful not to stab yourself. I usually recommend hold it in the bottom, but you can use a pick pretty easy. Pull it up just like that. I'm being real gentle with it and you're good to go. First things first, you can just clean it, wipe it off, and if you wanna wipe everything off, use a Q-tip in here, wipe it all off and put it back on. Uh, what is recommended to use on this is <clears throat> not paintball gun oil. So not oil like this, you want something a little thicker. So Dow 33 is actually what the manual recommends. This is Planet Eclipse grease. So this is probably the easiest to find grease out there. Most of your stores will sell Planet Eclipse grease, of course, online uh, in the store because Planet Eclipse is such a popular brand as well. So you can find this, I think, believe it's $10. This would last you for probably the entire life of your gun that you're gonna own it. 
Um, again, I think they're $9.95 online. You can find them on our website, prizepb.com. We have them on there. But you just want to put a small coat. This is actually a brand new one. So it's kind of cool to have a sharp thing. Puncture it there. You just take a small little bit on your finger. That's probably way too much. And put it on here. You just kind of coat it around. So what I do is I put a little there and I rotate it. A nice little coating. Put the extra over here. And that way you're good to go. What that does is it helps seal the O-ring inside of it, inside the metal part. And that way you make sure whenever you shoot it, air kicks back, good to go. You also want to make sure you clean the inside of the body. So they, they have what's called a barrel swab. And I should have grabbed one for the video, but you can actually clean it out. If you don't want to spend any money, you can take a paper towel. Um, anything that's not going to leave a bunch of residue or cotton or anything inside the gun. Um, and what's nice is you can actually look in here pretty easy once you have your gun in front of you. And you can see how clean it is. Take Q-tips, clean it out. Um, so once you get it cleaned out, you want, and you do never want to use real gun oil. Some people ask, well, can I use my real firearm oil? No, it's going to be too, I believe, corrosive is the issue on it. And it actually eat away at that O-ring and cause more problems. So Dow 33 is the recommended stuff. Okay, so when you do this, you're going to put it back together. The flat spot is going to face down on the bottom of your gun. And that small hole, hole is going to be up. And the reason why a hole is up is because this bolt goes into it there. Okay, so this is probably the most difficult part about this entire thing. So, hole is up, right there. I'm going to press a little bit because it will stop because the trigger mechanism here is holding it from going forward. So I'm going to press it a little bit. The safety is off. And I'm going to press it forward and pull the trigger and pull the trigger. You have to put pressure on the hammer as you're pulling the trigger. I believe it's three times in order to get this to go all the way forward. Now it will slide completely forward. That hole that I showed you a second ago is facing up because you want this to go in place. So what you're gonna do now is, this only goes in one way here, slide that forward, find the hole in the hammer, and now you can actually look in the back here and you can see the hammer and the bolt are gonna move together because I make sure they're connected. So I'm gonna slide this bolt up. And as long as they're moving together, you've done it correctly. If, they, if the bolt system here moves forward and backwards without the hammer moving, you need to try it one more time. So next thing that you put in is going to be the rubber bumper here. That just kind of goes in place there. Then you're gonna put the spring. And you shouldn't have to force any of this stuff. And then you wanna put the velocity adjuster. I'm just kind of holding it down. It does have spring tension on it. And you wanna screw it back into place. That O-ring that I showed you on there will not cause the gun to leak. I can actually pull the bolt and the hammer system completely out of the gun and air it up and it will not leak. Uh, anything like that, that is all based on the valve system here. So don't think that you have to replace that hammer O-ring if for some reason the gun is leaking or causing other problems. Um, once you put it back together, you will want to retest the gun, make sure it works, good to go. But other than that, that is going to cause, that's going to solve 99% of your problems for any type of gun that is sputtering, um, that won't, will only shoot one time uh, every single time you pull the trigger. So if you guys have any questions, uh, please comment below. You can find us on social media at Pro Edge Paintball. I answer all the comments on YouTube and all of the YouTube video comments. So if you guys have any questions, I'll reach out to us. Or you can check out our website, ProHPB.com. All of our staff is extremely experienced working on equipment and guns. So you can give us a call or check out our website, email us, whatever we can do to help you guys out. So hopefully that video answers a bunch of your questions. If you guys liked the video, please like it down below. That really helps us get ranked higher on YouTube um, and helps us get more subscribers. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you guys have any questions, again, reach out to us. See you next time.